How are you? I need your help, by the way. Uh, what, you, what did you need? Uh, I, will, I will tell you for, Come for meeting. What? You know this legend? Who? Okay. Go back behind you. That's a legend of the game. Here you go. You got my picture? This is, this, is my, this is my best player on me, right over here. You got it? Make sure you get me and not him, huh? Sure, I'll see you later, okay? Okay, you guys. As you know, I've been in the club for, for many years now. People who follow the club probably know like I'm a really like a Jesus follower. You know, something something very important for me. This is a, a strength I need since, uh, since I'm young, to be honest, you know? That's why you see me pray a lot, because I always thank him every single day, every single time, like maybe 30 times a day, maybe even more, 50 times a day, because I know without him I won't be there. I won't live my, the life I live today. I won't be the man I am today. So, so yeah, this is me. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father. You don't need like a fancy room as long as you pray him. He knows. He see everywhere you pray. I believe uh, I'm lucky to be a, a kind of platform because of my job, so people can see like uh, how how God is important for me, and maybe he can give a hope and uh, ID for people who struggle a little bit because I used to struggle a lot. I still struggle every day, by the way, you know, everybody struggles, life is hard. But with God on your side, God on my side, everything uh, is smoother, everything is easier. So uh, by uh, making a, a little clips of my life uh, with Jesus, I hope I'm going to give the uh, inspiration for people to, to follow Christ and at least to try. You've got nothing to lose. <laughs> That's exactly what people told me when I was lost. Try it. If it works, Stay with him. If he doesn't walk, go back in your normal life. But uh, I hope, uh, I hope people will see uh, how I'm living my life and how God helped me in uh, in my career and in my in my in my life. As you see, I pray in the in the laundry uh, room. Uh, I like this place because it's uh, it's very quiet. You know, I'm away from changing room, away from the, my teammates because I believe the faith come from uh, your soul and you need to be alone or at least like in a quiet place to to feel it so yeah come <laughs> in, this, in this place it can be surprising but I don't know there is an atmosphere in this place I've been here for five years I always pray in this room uh, there's something special for me so I hope it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be again for many years because I really like this club I really like this place and I hope through my uh, my faith and through my football quality I can help the club to reach a trophy Done. There we go. Now we're ready for a good game. Tough game. Important game. Come back at home. It's really nice to play at the, at the Yankee Stadium. We feel like something different when we play home. Got our fun, by the way. Yes, follow me. Let's go together. together. Yeah, together. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go guys, no, nothing much to say, we all know what we have to do, uh, we all know we dropped too many points too easy since the beginning of the season, something cannot happen anymore, we play at home, I know the third game of the week is going to be difficult, but we have a bench for this, okay, so make sure guys we give 100%, player who are tired, just speak to Rennie and we will make a change, and be ready for a tough battle guys, because they're going to come and smash us, and especially because they change the team, so player who wants to show themselves, yeah. so don't be surprised, don't play on the back for Tati, and get all three points, okay? We deserve it. Let's go, guys. One, two, one, two, three! Training is finished, now it's time for the chapel. Come on, let's go. We are dead. It wasn't oh, yeah, easy, good, thank huh? you, my brother. 
Always. <laughs> if you're playing it in your practice, no, you know what? <laughs> Guys, my opinion is, I understand you've got your job. Nobody will gonna blame you because you left for 10 minutes, 15 minutes because you're going to chop on. Nobody. Yeah. And the first thing, and second thing, is my opinion again, we are there because of Jesus. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. So people say, never meet with somebody before you met with God. And I think that's the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, you can so do important. like if you have an interview, I'm going to be late. Yeah, but if you don't pray Jesus before going to an interview, for sure you're not going to pass it. Yeah. Sure. Yes or no? It's my opinion. That's why we're here. All right, guys, let's pray, shall we? So thank you, Father, that we can gather together in your name and for that inestimable promise that you. So I've been here since the inception. I've been here every season uh, as the team chaplain, and that means that I'm here once during the week, so I come in the middle of the week and lead a, uh, a chapel, we call it our chapel, midweek chapel, and that's essentially a, a time of prayer and Bible study um, for the players and then anybody else involved with the team who wants to join us. My role also includes sort of being available to the team. I've gone to, to the city a few times when guys have had surgery, uh, to be there before and after the surgery to sort of to pray for them or encourage them. So the role is, is fairly broad. We pray, Lord, for your hand of blessing to rest upon them, for your hand of protection to watch over them. And when Maxine came here, I realized how incredibly devout he is, and I realized he's sort of the spiritual leader of the team in, in a lot of ways. He's one of the funniest guys on the team. He's got a great sense of humor. He's one of the few guys that could you know, get away with uh, cracking on guys because they know he cares about them. But he's also really the chapel leader so um, he's involved in you know each week doing a lot of the communication with the players helping gather the players remind them of when we're meeting and I just have a, a profound uh, respect for Maxine obviously out on the pitch he, he lays it all out there but I think that's kind of the way he lives his life and we pray for the team Lord we just pray for your watch over them and May they also find deep fulfillment and joy in offering their gifts to you. And may your hand of blessing rest upon them, we pray. We make our prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Greg. Good work, guys. Gentlemen, good to see you all. Uh, guys from Columbus, good to see you. So, uh, my name is Pastor Kevin, uh, and I know I don't look like a pastor, uh, but I am. I have to show my ID all the time, right? Um, but, uh, but I'm here to just share God's Word with you and pray that uh, the inspiration of the Scripture and the Spirit would help not just guide you as you play with and against one another, but you're really with one another, but also uh, on the, on the, in life as well. Sometimes I pray by myself, like you see uh, earlier, when I need to feel like close to God, you know, I like to be myself and just listening to Him. And sometimes we have the chance to have the pastor who's coming. As you see, we can pray with different teams, sometimes only with our team, sometimes with opposite team. That's something really interesting in faith because we compete on the pitch, but we can be our brother together uh, outside the pitch because we are all like Son of God. And so on the pitch, you play not just for your team, and not for the fans, but you play for an audience of one. You are playing it and giving it all to God, to Him be the glory. Yeah, like free games are always difficult for the for the body, obviously, you know, because playing like free time, 90 minutes, is not it's not easy to recover. But uh, also for the mental side, because it's a lot of pressure. People sometimes forget about that, but it's you know, also difficult to always be focused and like mindset on the games, especially when there is free games like that during a week. We can't feel since Ronnie came here, it just brings a new culture, like a new winning culture, and that's something we can start feeling on the pitch now. It always takes time to uh, make it work, and uh, obviously now everybody is, uh, is working on the same way as to compete to be a champion with the quality we have in the squad. Uh, we are very lucky to have like a good also uh, technical staff with the coaches who are very successful in the past and bring us like the way to win. So. Yeah, we are all looking on the same way to make our, our fans proud and to bring a first trophy to this club. We deserve to be to be champions. Uh, my brother, thanks best. for coming again. Are you kidding really me? Yeah, dude, all the time, all the time. I miss you so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every game, they're on my mind. Uh, 
I told you when I one year already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was more like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was really like, yeah. 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 His hair was as good. Yeah, yeah. 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 you got the hair, bro. Like Kobe helped you. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna make myself ready. Okay, take care of you. All right, I'll see you. God bless you.